Hi everybody, now you are with me again, Miss Yulita. We are going to learn about Carroll Diagram. Uh, it's about data handling, where you are going to organize or sort out the data that you have into a diagram. Okay, let's start. Here uh, I have some shapes that you can see. So we are going to put this in a diagram, so we, we know that the data that we have here can be put into a certain uh, group. Okay, so what can you see from these different uh, shapes here? Okay, let's put this um, into certain place. Let, for example, this one. We can see uh, green. We have green here. Okay, let's put this green hole here. Okay, mm -hmm. this is also green, so we can put this all together. What is it? Okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. These all are green, and then these all are blue, and these are red. Okay, so basically, we have organize all the shapes here based on the color but how do we um, organize another ways instead of based on the colors but what is the idea to see to make them different I mean uh, to differentiate the groups of three data that we have um, Yes, you are correct that we can see two shapes in the green. Okay, have a look. There is rectangle here and circle here, which is green circle and um, green rectangles, right? So we put it um, in like this. And what about the red one? We also can see that there are circle which is red circle and red um, rectangle see and also you can see also what about the blue one there is a rectangle and also blue circle okay so they will be sort out based on the shapes and color that's why how do we put this? This is the shapes of the name and also the color here. Okay, so how do we try to uh, organize all the data that we have done here into diagram? So let's see if we want to see the shapes of the uh, we want to see the data from the shapes. Let's put the shapes here in okay so let's put it them away first okay so all the rectangle we have here can we put it on the mm -hmm. and this is also rectangle and another rectangle sorry Sorry, oh, the video is not on the object. Okay, the blue one is in here. Okay. And we also have circle. Where do you think we put this circle to? Yes, okay, in here, better. And also the red circle under the red rectangle. And the red, then the green circle under the green rectangle okay so we know we can put we can give the name of each shape right so what should we do again with this of course we have to label the groups with the color so we put the green here and we put the blue here and red here okay now, to uh, separate all those data, 
we can just draw the lines, okay? Mm -hmm. That's right. And to differentiate between the shapes, we also need to draw the lines to, to separate them all together. And better, we also put this different too, okay? All right. Now, we got the data in our cattle diagram, like this. So, uh, from the movie that, I mean, from the things that we did, we did together, uh, basically it's only just to sort out the things or the data that we have into certain categories, all right? Now, can you try with your own way? I mean, uh, you can collect the data by yourself and you can do it in using the cattle diagram, all right? And if you have a questions, just meet me at school tomorrow morning. Okay, see you, bye.